the race start has been postponed um, and I just thought I'd share with you why that is because um, we can see it quite nicely on my navigation software here. Um, so within the first 24 hours of us leaving the start we were expecting to cross a front, a cold front, uh, trailing off the big depression that's tracking across the Atlantic. Um, and it was quite an active front, which means that there was a lot of wind in the front, um, a forecast wind of around 45 knots with gusts in kind of the 60s. Um, and that's bad um, because we were coming out of the English Channel, the Western approaches, there wasn't a way around this front, it was trailing quite far south. But it's not just the wind that has um, led to the race committee making this decision. It's actually probably more importantly, the wave height. Um, so if we kind of look at my navigation software here, um, this is just after the start. And you can see the different colorations here. Um, the orange is significant wave heights of nine meters um, so you can see at the start on the evening of Sunday this is the route that I would take coming up here these blue lines and approaching the coast of Ireland we've got a band of nine meter waves there and as we go into Monday uh, the waves come into the western approaches um, and there is just no way out so the, the waves go all the way down into the Biscay so we have this huge significant wave height of nine meters which is three quarters the length of this boat um, so it as a rule of thumb a wave that is half the waterline length of your boat will cause the boat to broach or, or will be able to take control of the boat um, and, and significantly alter the way it handles. So we were expecting much bigger waves than that. But then what happens is as the front comes over, the wind direction changes by 90 degrees, and then all of a sudden you've got waves at 90 degrees to the wind, which causes them to break, and they're still very, very big. So we can see here, there's an area of orange there with eight meter waves coming from a different direction. And this this is why the race committee have made their decision because it's particularly for the multi holes it's very dangerous conditions. And although the Amokas are you know they're built um, to withstand the Southern Ocean um, and you know on the Vendée Globe we do expect to see conditions like this. Um, it's a different choice to actually set out directly in them and this is not a fleet of just democas, it's, it, it's multi hulls and class 40s as well. Um, so you can totally understand why the decision's been made and it's just out of our hands now.